The Wrestling Mayhem Show. Since 2006, the pioneer in pro wrestling podcasting. This show is brought to you by IndieWrestling.us and IndieWrestling.network for your independent wrestling entertainment. Slice on Broadway, supporting Pittsburgh podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza. Just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait. Wait for the perfect time and attack. Don't give up what you want, take it back. Wait for the perfect time and attack. Do what you got to do, make it last. Hey guys, this is a very special edition of the Wrestling Mayhem Show. I'm Mike Sorgat, Sorgatron on Twitter here in the Sorgatron Media Studios in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. And uh, we got we got a special edition for you today. First of all, I have a special guest with me in studio. Uh, one, Joe Dombrowski, longtime friend of the show, and now voice of our, our opening intro. Uh, thank you very much for that, by the way. Hey, any anytime I can uh, help, anytime anything can come out of my brain or mouth hole that is useful mm-hmm. to others, I'm more than willing to offer it. Uh, I've been a staple of this program for so many years, and 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 you've been a staple of my work life for so many projects. It, it feels like it was a combination meant to be. There so, you go. And thank you for having me in studio here wow. to... Talk about some cool things and some important things. Thank you. Of course, the voice of the the English voice of AAA in Mexico, as well as MLW Major League Wrestling, now on Reels TV. Tuesday nights, ten o'clock. Reels TV available on most cable systems, DirecTV, Dish, uh, some apps as well. Yep. Um, a channel that I've been a big fan of for a while now. I feel like with all of their uh, psychoanalytical documentaries and serial killers. Uh, classic rock bands, um, classic TV stars like Lucille Ball, um, uh, 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 the fact I've licensed footage to other programs that have been on that network before. All of that stuff rolled into one. I feel like everything I've done in my life has just built towards getting on reels. And if, if I can just get on at least once, I feel like that's that's like the, the full circle fulfillment Absolutely. of everything I've been well, working for. It, it's funny because we actually had a question floating around uh, on the group and on the show a few weeks ago about... Um, you know what? You know, asking uh, what show do we think Joe should be uh, a guest on on the network? And now it's been out there for a few weeks at this point. I kind of want to get your vibe before we get into the intro here. Um, what do you think? Like, what what show should Joe Dombrowski be a guest on the Reels Channel for true cross promotion with MLW? Well, uh, so here's a question. So, so let's say I pick the. Uh Lucille Ball documentary like am I uh, am I no like am I just narrating it or hey, am I part of the story now like <laughs> am I in the cast that changes it um because I, w- I would say I would say uh I would say that or I'd say like uh uh was it was it breaking the band mm-hmm. um because then I can kind of channel my uh uh VH1 behind the music vibes. You be a, be a, follow that story arc of everything was going great <laughs> until it wasn't, and have that whole roller coaster. Where mean, every every band has the same story, right? Where yeah. they, they start out and they they meet and hang out as friends, and they start a garage band, and they're like get discovered at the Whiskey a Go Go, and then like they get signed and they blow up and they go on tour and they start uh, doing copious amounts of just un safe levels of drugs <laughs> yes. and they all start fighting and they break up and they don't speak to each other for 10 or 20 years and then um they get back together they they clean up they do go through rehab and they make new music and it's not as good anymore because uh you know they're not kind of that young rebellious like spirit anymore and uh it ends on kind of a somber but like a beat note you know everybody has every every single band ever has that same trajectory and I would I would love to narrate those stories and uh, uh, tell those tales uh, because there's a lot of parallels between um, rock and roll business and the wrestling business, especially back with kind of the wild times of the 80s and mm-hmm. things like that. So I'd fit in well there, I think. Excellent. Excellent. I, I'm glad we got that, that answer. I, I said a ride along on Cops Were Loaded, which I presumed was a new show. I haven't looked at it yet. Wow. That'd be a, you know, I, I would also go uh, uh, I'd, I'd go on the. Uh, Rob Van Dam documentary because there's a scene where he goes to a convention and I just set up a table there. There you go. There you go. Perfect. What do you got? If, if you're checking this out for the first time, this is the Wrestling Mayhem Show. We usually do have a, a, a myriad of people on the show and we are live every Tuesday at 7 p.m. Eastern. I'm sorry. No, that's the other show. We are live every Tuesday at 10 p.m. Eastern on the Wrestling Mayhem Show YouTube, Facebook, 
uh, and everything. You can hit us up an email, goodtimes at wrestlingmayhemshow.com, 412-206-WMS0, as well as tweet us at Mayhem Show. And we have a great race, Wrestling Mayhem Show Facebook group and Discord. We'll have great discussion over there. We are also on Reddit, too. Uh, and also, I want to give a shout out to our friends that do support this show over on Patreon, uh, including uh, our friends at the financial level, Bo Diggity, Ed Burke, Team Hamfist, Bobby FJ Town, uh, Dave pa- Dave Prof Pos- Prof Pod Podner, Clipper of all things sword related, Rats in a trench coat, Tony Kincaid, at the Peace Club level, Doc Remedy and the Riz, and the Banjo level, Bradley and the overly caffeinated mother of dragons tina keys and whoever else may have uh, uh hopped on the patreon since this recording uh so and again you guys can support the show too and great programming like this at patreon.com slash wrestling mayhem show so joe the reason we are here is don west uh the unfortunate passing a, a couple of months ago but then you started showing me on some of these car trips that we've been doing to warrior wrestling uh, over the last uh, or, uh, warrior and uh, just anything out in Chicago related, I guess. Um, you, you, you start, we've listened to hours of Don West in the car, and which has exposed me to a different era. I'm used to the impact wrestling Don West uh, uh, teamed with Mike Tanay. I think, you know, that's why the wrestling world knows about him. Um, and, and it was always been like kind of a fixture there and brought a lot of excitement to that. Can you tell me a little bit about, uh, you know, I know you did this on Facebook, but, you know, can you tell me a little bit about uh, your exposure to him and the early exposure to him? So Don's very famous, as you mentioned, uh, as a wrestling announcer, but probably uh, far more famous as a legendary uh, sports card salesman. Mm -hmm. And um, he, uh, I think, has the record for the most money generated on Shop at Home Network back in the 1990s. Uh, he would do these three or four hour blocks um, at least every weekend, maybe even more than that, like Saturdays and Sundays uh, is when I found him um, selling sports cards from like uh, midnight to 4 a.m. And he would sell um, rookie cards. He would sell wax packs. He would sell plaques. He would sell signed baseballs and signed jerseys and just any kind of sports memorabilia you can think of. And he had such an excitement and intensity about every single thing he said and did. I did not give a crap about sports cards (laughs) or memorabilia, but I was glued to this programming. Um, When I was 14 years old is when I first, 14 or 15, 15, I think, when I first heard Don, because uh, we had bought in my house a um, little... um, portable-ish television that was meant to just uh, kind of go from room to room. It wasn't hooked up to a cable line. So because of that, we received on that TV some very low-powered local stations that were not carried on the cable package. And one of them was WBGN 59. And every Saturday night, they had a pro wrestling block from 8 o'clock to midnight. The kind of change, depending on what era we're talking about, what year. But there was the WWE syndicated show was on there. ECW uh, was on there in the dying days. XPW. There was a local wrestling talk show called Pro Wrestling Review. Um, Women of Wrestling was on there in its, its uh, previous incarnation. Of course, we got a couple friends of the show on the current incarnation now. Um, you know, uh, uh, uh PWX was on there, and it was my first uh, exposure to uh, Super Hentai and I think Devil Budokan and a manager named uh, Too Fat Yutsak Arafat that is now known as Alex Abrahantes and AEW managing the Lucha Brothers. Mm. Um, but, but all of this, this block of wrestling, I would watch from 8 to midnight, and then I, at midnight I would switch to um, the cable uh, TV and watch... WWF jacked shotgun Saturday night, whatever name it was at the time from 12 to one. And at at one o'clock I went back to WBGN because the WBGN feed would cut at at midnight or one and they would switch to the feed of the shop at home network. And all night was just Don West screaming about the rookie carts and the wax packs and the gym tents. And I thought it was the most entertaining thing in the world because Don captivated you with this stuff. And I didn't understand 
anything about the sports collectible sports card business or what anything was worth. I had no interest in collecting, but I could listen to him for hours. And and so so a good two years before Don had anything to do with pro wrestling, um, he absolutely knew how to how to uh, 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 be that over the top salesman and, and do the hyperbole and, and be the pitch man in a way that would appeal to any kind of audience because he didn't just appeal to people who liked Michael Jordan or liked Barry Bonds or anything like that. He appealed to uh, to me anybody. That, I mean, he was he was parodied on Saturday Night Live. Mm-hmm. How many people can say that that Saturday Night Live did a couple of different sketches? about Don West. That's just how unique of a character he was. And, and that, that turned into how great he, he did his job and how much he resonates amongst people, not, not just in wrestling, but in pop culture. Absolutely. Uh, and, 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 and you, you know, we've talked a lot about how this influenced, uh, uh, a little bit here and there about your style too, as a, as a commentator. I, I think one of the main reasons, there's two reasons I dress the way I do. And that's Jim Cornette and Don West. Mm-hmm. Um, Don in those early NWA TNA episodes always had those, those kind of, uh, solid monochromatic ensembles of like a, 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 a bright shiny shirt and like a, like a really solid tie. And it was red on red or silver on silver or gold on gold. A lot of times. And I, I was really drawn to that a lot. Um, it helps me out at, at my merch table too, just knowing how to get people's attention. And, um, there's such a crossover with with salesmen uh, 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 at at the merch table and being a salesman at the announce desk because okay, speaking sound bites, use um, very uh, uh, eye and ear grabbing adjectives. Um, you know, convince people why this is something of value that they need to invest their time or money in. Oftentimes, both. Um, and uh, I wanted to be Don West, even you know dating back to, to when I first discovered him. And that's, that goes back to, to when I had the chance to, to share the story with Don about, uh, me in high school. That's awesome. Do you want me to go into that now? Yeah, absolutely. Um, <laughs> in, in, uh, chemistry class in 10th grade, we had to do a presentation or like a group of five, uh, you know, what, what, however many groups in the class, but there were, there were five of us in this group. Um, and we each had to pick an element off the periodic table. And we needed to do like a sales pitch for that, that element, whether it be like commercial or whether it be um, whatever it was. I, I don't remember what, what the, the scope was. I remember, you know, one group did like a, uh, um, a videotape version and, and, and just, uh, uh, you know, interviewed people. And, and, and just what we did uh, through my idea, the Shop at Home Network. And I was Don West selling carbon. And... <laughs> Um, there's no video of this, right? None. No, absolutely none. Um, sadly, sadly, no, unfortunately, no, you could see my humble beginnings, but uh, I, I'm, I'm sure it was, it was, I'm sure I'd look back and, and, and micromanage and pick it apart now, but it was me in front of the class, just screaming about how important carbon is and how many uses it has and all of that stuff. And then I, I had a, a wingman next to me. I had a sidekick, a co-host who, whenever I would stop to take a breath, so it's well, the atomic weight of carbon is this and this and these, all, 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 the, all the nuts and bolts and the facts. And I would come in and I would cut them off and I would interrupt him and I would just scream at the top of my lungs. I was so excited about this carbon. Um, and the uh, it was a smash hit. Everybody loved it. The teacher loved it. The, the kids loved it. And it was the final grade on that project was a hundred and four percent we got which brought my average for the year, I think, up to 60%. So I only passed that class because of Don West and because of that presentation. And I got a chance to, to share that story with Don on Twitter years and years later. And he, uh, you know, he, he said, that just popped me huge. Thank you so much for sharing that. I, I, who could believe I could help somebody in chemistry? Mm-hmm. Um, Don's one of those people. Uh, um, really, really, really wish I would have had a chance to work with in some capacity. Um, right up there with with guys like Bobby Heenan, uh, and thankfully I, I had a chance to meet Bobby Heenan uh, before he passed. But never in a work setting, never in a professional environment mm-hmm. where we could kind of bounce off of each other, do anything like that. But uh, Don's definitely uh, at the top of that list, right with him, because of um, just how transfixed I was by him and how how fun it is to to do the Don West material and how mm-hmm. 
I don't know if at the time he expected Jim Mint 10 rookie card to be a catchphrase or just, uh, you, you know, any of the, um, you know, the, the kind of go-to lines, but it, it really did. And it, it followed him in a good way everywhere he went. And he, he was that guy. So um, he's had nothing but a positive impact on me and, 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 you know, Sorg, I know you've heard, I've, I've thrown a few, you have got to be kidding me's in some mm-hmm. of my recent broadcasts. And, mm-hmm. um, you know, if I'm able to, I hope I'm able to continue doing that, that. And, and also when he did the shop at home is his big thing was when he introduced a new item, he'd say, are you ready for this? So, um, if you ever see a line like that, go into any of my broadcasts, you know, where it came from. <laughs> That's great. And, and that's the thing. Like, this isn't isolated with, with, with you. Uh, you know, I mean, all of these clips, people have been, you know, what, uploading them to YouTube. Uh, I think you said there was a website where there's a bunch of like old real player audio clips yeah. or something. When, 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 <laughs> when I first became transfixed with Don, I found DonWest.org, which isn't up anymore. Mm. But they, this is again, you know, primitive internet time, but, but they would have real player audio wave files of, uh, little snippets like 20 or 30 second snippets of just Don going nuts. Uh, uh, the, um, you know, uh, the factory set clip that you love so much Sorg. That was the first time I factory heard that set. factory set We're yelling or, this in the car yeah. at two or three in the morning, trying to stay awake. And we, oh. you know, we've got these cards. We've got the Dan Marino, 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 like little clips like that, that just, out of context, they're even more hilarious because, mm. like, why are you so excited? Why are you yelling? And and, and what's funny is going back and, and, and you know, playing all of those uh, shop at home clips on these car trips and kind of, you know, in our own little tribute and, and, and eulogy to them. Um, I hear those lines in the full clips and I realize the, the same guy that's uploaded this YouTube account is the same guy that ran DonWest.org, as far as I know. At least the clips are the same. So um, I'm reliving those moments too that I used to listen and just laugh at and was so enthralled and entertained by 22 years ago. Um, now we're discovering them all over again, you know, to kind of celebrate Don's legacy. I love it. I love it. Well, we prepared something as a tribute to Don West. It's fun. Uh, I think we're, you're, you, w- w- what's planned here. Um, and, uh, do you want to say a little bit going into what, what's coming up here after the break here on the show? Um, all I have to say is that there will never be another Don West. Uh, we're, we're all competing for a distant second place, but, um, I thought it only fitting to try to capture as much of the essence of Don as possible and the energy of Don as possible. So you guys can get kind of a, uh, lighthearted look at what Don's, um, legacy is to the people that that really appreciated his work and valued his uh his contributions to to uh entertaining all of us and from everything i've heard uh, a great guy too this is this is meant to uh to show everybody how much i loved listening to don west and and hopefully you guys enjoy it too and and uh the only other thing i can say is uh get your phones out and, and, and be dialing. Just just be dialing. Just be dialing and just stay tuned. We'll be back with our tribute to Don West as we continue here after the break after this. You're watching Shop at Home, America's second oldest television shopping network. Hey, gang, welcome on in. We have an entire hour coming your way of sports collectibles, and you have picked such a special night to join us here tonight, Shop at Home Network. Are you ready for this? You have got to be kidding me when it comes to this deal. This is a deal that makes absolutely no sense to me at all. I have no idea how I'm allowed to offer this to you at this price, but they've left me alone here and I can do whatever I want. I could get fired for this on Monday, but it is worth it to bring you this deal we have tonight, this set we put together. It is the daddy of factory set deals. Who's the daddy? This set is the daddy, let's show you. What we're going to offer you right now, we have so many cards, folks. 
We have so many cards. We're going to give you the 92 Topps Baseball Factory Set. We're going to give you 1989 Topps Baseball Factory Set. We're going to give you the Topps 1991 Football Factory Set. We're going to give you the Topps 1990 Football Factory Set. We're going to give you the Topps 1999 Factory set. We're going to give you the score. Hockey 1990 factory set. And what blows it all away. What blows the other deals out of the water, folks. We're going to give you a mystery box. We're going to throw in this mystery box where we have pulled all of the best cards. We have pulled legends. Hall of Famers. Only the stars. Only the top inserts. We've got rookie cards. We've got Jim Mid-10s. We've got the cards you've been waiting your entire life to own. And we have them in this set. Folks, this is what? This has got to be over 5,000 cards. 5,000 cards. And we will offer to you right here tonight. We can only do this here. You cannot find this anywhere else. $79.99. Be dialing. Folks, our, our phones are already jammed. They're lit up. All of our operators are busy. I see the sweat coming down Nancy's brow right now. These operators are here for you. We're double-backed already. Folks, if you can't afford this on your charge card tonight, get the stretch pay. For only $2 a month for the next 40 months, you can pay this off. And in just a little over three years, this set can be yours. You'd have to be completely out of your mind to not jump on this deal. I'm just, just, just one of these sets alone will book for $50 or $60. You could go to a trade show next week and probably move all of these and get as much as $5,000 for these cards. Nobody else in the world has a set like this to offer you. Item number DW001, be dialing. We only have... We only have about 35 of these to give to you, folks. We have about 35 of these in the world! Folks, I just looked over at our switchboard. There is smoke coming up from the switchboard right now. That is how many people are dialing right now. I'm embarrassed by how low this price is. This is an insult to the sports card industry. And that's why this is going to blow your mind when you go through this. Whatever you have to do, if you have to mortgage your house, if you have to sell your car, folks, if you have to donate a kidney, do it to get this set right now. Because I guarantee you, go to a trade show and you can double, triple your money. You can buy seven kidneys. With the money you're going to make on this set here Tonight, this is literally the most insanely insane thing I have ever done in my entire life. Folks, one of our operators just passed out of exhaustion. Our operator, Doris, is on the ground. She is not moving right now. She's going to be okay. But folks, we have been taking calls left and right since we went on the air. Folks, after the break, we're not going to be able to come back to this. I want you to understand something. If you want to wait till Monday, it's going to be gone. It's going to be gone. These are such unique sets. And we've inserted so much in here. And I'm not going to be able to say on this the whole hour. And, and folks, what I want to do here, I just want to go through and show you an example of what kind of set you're going to get. What kind of set you're going to get. These are all Jim Mid 10. They've been untouched. They haven't been affected. I just pulled an 87 Mark McGuire. 
I just pulled a McGuire. We're talking McGuire, Sosa, Griffey, Usual, Babe Ruth, Joe DiMaggio, Sandy Koufax. We've got Jordans. We've got Griffeys. We've got Shaqs. We've got every single. We got Fred Favre. We have Dan Marino. We have Marino. All of the best stars you've ever seen. There's no no names in here. This is everything that you have wanted in a card set. It could take you years to get this. Folks, if there is an important person in the history of this world that has had their photo taken, there's a chance they could have a card in this set. There is a chance they could be in here and you could never find another one like that at all. Folks, our switchboard has caught fire. Our switchboard, we have a problem in the studio right now. The switchboard has caught fire, but we're going to get it out. Please be patient on the phones. Please be patient on the phones. We will get to you. If you call this segment, we will get to your order, folks. This is so special. This is so unique to have these cards. We're verifying on another one right now. 29 left. Verify. Some dealer just bought 10 of these. 10. Thank you so much for your call. That's how quick they're going to go, folks. I'm going to pull more out of this box here, and I'm going to show you what we have because there is so much here that you will never believe. You will never. They're all Jim Mint 10. They are all absolutely mint. They are all completely rare. I just we got a we got a flare 92 Roger Clemens. A flare 92 Roger Clemens, folks. And this we just randomly pulled the set. This set's going out tomorrow. We randomly pulled this set. And this is what we're getting. We got a Flair 92-93 Carl Malone. We have a, oh, we have a Flair 92-93 Larry Bird. Can you believe that? You have got to be kidding me. Here's a score 91 Mark Messier. Here's a flare, Muggsy Bogues. Here's a flare, Charles Barkley. Here's a score, 91, Man of the Year, Warren Moon. His whole family's in there. Those are the rookie, that's the rookie card for his kids. Warren Moon's kids were never on another card before the 91 score and all of their rookies in one card. That's going out to somebody tomorrow, folks. This is a random set. We've got, we got a score 91 Gretzky. That's what I'm telling you, folks. You need to understand. It's all stars. It's legends. It's Hall of Famers. Folks, here's a score 91 Reggie White. Here's a Flair 91. Sammy Sosa. Here's a Donruss 92. David Justice. Look how small this card is. What happened to this card? Did somebody put it in a dryer? Did somebody zap this card with a shrink ray? I have no idea. But it's in these sets. You will never see a card again with this kind of height, width, length, dimensions. You can put it in your wallet and show all your friends what an insane deal. $79.99 for this. Be dialing. Folks, I understand the fire is raging out of control, off camera. We still have some operators that they are risking their livelihood to take your calls to get your order in. You I, I, I swear to you, there some of your friends, they're not even going to talk to you anymore. When they find out that you got all this for only $79.99 and they could not jump on this. Folks, I just found a 1991 
Pittsburgh Penguins, Larry Murphy, Foodland exclusive. Check that out, folks. Foodland. Do you know how much time our dealer spent in Foodland looking for this card? But we got it. And it's in this set. We got NASCAR superstars, folks. We got a Sterling Marlin in here. We got a Kyle Petty. We got a Dale Earnhardt. We got a Richard Petty. Folks, we got a Dick Trickle. Look at my Dick Trickle. I've got a Dick Trickle, and for $79, a Dick Trickle could be yours. You can tell all your friends that you watch Shop at Home, and you wound up with a Dick Trickle for only $79. We have all the stars. We got Dale Jarrett. We have Ned Jarrett. We have Jeff Jarrett. Oh, I'm looking at him with a guitar and he just creamed him. Double J, King of the Mountain. Are you serious? We got a Dutch Mantel rookie card. We got a Dutch here. Folks, I just pulled a Pete Gas rookie card. All the stars are with us. We got the classic WWF set. We've got a Brooklyn Brawler. We've got a Barry Horowitz. We've got a Paul Roma. And we've got, we got a rookie Red Rooster. Go, Red, go. Go, Red, go. Go, Red, go. We got a Red Rooster here. Folks, when I tell you this is a one-of-a-kind set, this Red Rooster alone will book for $40. Folks, if you have, if you have the, the, the Beckett book that came out, you'll know that all of these cards... Here's a Brian Trottier Foodland exclusive. This is worth more than any grocery bag you've ever filled up, I guarantee you. This is going... All right, we understand they are evacuating the building currently. They're evacuating the building because of the overwhelming fires, because you guys keep calling, but please be patient. Please be patient, because we do have operators on cellular devices, and I'm going to stay here in the studio, because we got so much more. Here's a Mario Lemieux that came with a Clark bar. If you didn't need Clark bars, you never had this card. Here's a Kmart, Ozzy Smith. Only at Kmart, folks. See that? Here's a 1996 Schwabels Cal Ripken Jr. Folks, our dealers ate loaf after loaf after loaf until they were bloated to get the ribbon. Here's a Ken Griffey Jr. We have a Griffey. This is just one set. This is just, folks, we got an American Gladiator set. Here's Gemini. Here's Storm. Here's Ice. We have the American. Here's Blaze. Here's Diamond. Gold. Gold is here. We've got Zap. We've got the Atlasphere. Folks, we got a Mike Adam Lee rookie card. We have an authentic Adam Lee. From the American Gladiators, 1991. This is just Ice's arm. Her arm alone will book for $10. All the other cards need her whole body to get that value. But it's just her arm and it's just here. Folks, this is not limited to just what we've seen here. We have some of the greatest presidents of the United States and their rookie cards. We've got a James Madison. We've got an Andrew Jackson. We have a James Polk. We have an Abraham Lincoln. One of the most legendary presidents you've ever seen. We've got Reagan. We've got Harrison. We've got Roosevelt. We've got Buchanan. We've got Tyler and Coolidge. All together. You bought those separately. You're paying $250. It's a $79 set. Folks, you got to dial quickly because we have, again, 
some smart customer out there just bought five more. We are down to the final 16 of these sets. And folks, if the automatic sprinklers turn on, we cannot guarantee all 16 will be ready for shipment. Folks, we have the Rocky II set. We have the Rocky II set here. Anything you could want. This is a police car. We have a police car. We have the Ninja Turtles. And we got them all here. We got Raphael. We got Donatello. We got, we got a Casey Jones, folks. We have a Casey Jones action shot. We've got, we've got Super Shredder. We have Shredder in the line as well. We've got an authentic... R.L. Stein card, folks, from the Goosebump set. We have Deadpool's rookie. We have the Deadpool rookie card. We have X-Men. We have Mickey Mouse. All of these rare X-Men comic book covers. Verify got another one. Thank you. Verify got another one. We got Jim Kirk, William Shatner. My God, here's another Deadpool. Could you imagine pulling two Deadpools at once in this set? We got a Magneto refractor card. Folks, we have a Sergeant Turner. Oh, these cards are falling. This is a wall of cards, folks. Be dialing whatever you have to do. If you have to sacrifice your entire life savings, and your children's college funds to get this set, do it now because you will never, ever forgive yourself for passing up this opportunity to own over 5,000 of the most unique cards. This is just a random set. This is a random set. We got Bazooka Joe in this set. We got Inspector Gadget in this set. Folks, we got a rare face-to-face -face card of one of the most dynamic and intense rivalries. In the history of television, you can relive and own forever the famous Angelica Tommy Pickles rivalry right now with this card. And a, a part of that set, we got Doug Funny versus Roger Klotz. These are all available now. And folks, this ju just doesn't include present day. It just doesn't include the human race. No, we go back in time. The Tyrannosaurus Rex rookie card. We have a Triceratops rookie card. We have a Brontosaurus rookie card. All that available now. And folks, we have not just Batman. We have future Batman. This card doesn't even exist yet. But we have it. This card's not going to be out for another 20, 30 years, gang. But we've got it here as part of the set. You know what? Verify got another one. 14 left. Thank you. 13 left. Thank you. Folks, this is something you need to get on the line about now. Because in about 15 minutes, the fire damage will be so much that all of these sets will be gone forever. So just to get these moving out the door now, I'm going to throw in these extra wax packs. We've got wax packs. We've got extra cards. We're going to sell right here. We don't even have any room for this. But we've got them. We've got, folks, a Topps 1987 wax pack. The chewing gum is still in it, folks. You can get nutrition out of this, too. Guys, skip, give me a, give me a two-minute clock on this. I cannot stay on this because we are down to the final 10 callers who can verify on this right now. I cannot believe what we have been able to offer. You go to a convention and get four or $5,000 minimum. Any of these stars could be in here. We're talking Griffey, McGuire, Sosa, Jeter, Barry Bonds, Willie Mays, Babe Ruth, Stan Usual, Joe DiMaggio, Jackie Robinson, Michael Jordan, Hank Aaron, Mickey Mantle, Sandy Koufax, Pete Rose, Nolan Ryan, Ted Williams, 
Joe Namath, Shaquille O'Neal, Michael Jordan, Brett Favre, Emmett Smith, Dan Marino, if they are a human being who has ever been on this earth, they may be in this set. And when you get this with all these rookie cards, all of the Jim Mid 10, all the factory sealed, you can charge whatever you want because we are giving this away for way, way too low. We could get sued by our bosses. That's how low these prices are. It's the Who's the Daddy factory set blowout DW001. This deal makes absolutely no sense to me. I'm upset about it. I don't want to see it anymore. So dial now and get this deal out of my face because it's insulting to my livelihood and my family. This is only $79.99 right now. We got to go to break in just a second. Our time's up, folks. We have, we have four left. Dial through the break. Dial through the break while the electricity is still on because we are not coming back to this item, folks. Stay tuned up next. We got the Shaq plaque we're going to bring to you. We got the signed DiMaggio bat. And then at the top of the hour, we're going to do a whole hour on Beanie Babies. We're going to have the Beanie Babies for you. We're going to give you peace. We're going to give you Aaron. We're going to give you glory. Princess. We're going to give you Santa. And we're even going to throw in Maple Bear, folks. And it's all can be yours tonight. Your friends and family will not want anything to do with you ever again because you have just jump-started the most insanely insane collection you'll ever have in your life. And we got a lot more coming to you. We're here all night. Folks, be dialing. Be Three left. Be dialing. Stay tuned. We're coming right back. Be dialing. Be di Stay on the phone. Get Doris off the floor again. Dial now. Don't go away. There's more to come. You're watching Sports Cards with Don and Eddie right here on Shop at Home.